So, Mahakali by Dissection. This one's been on the list for quite a while, and uh, it's taken me a while to get around to doing it. So I apologise, I've got a sore throat, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so if I'm a bit croaky, that is the reason why. So we're in C-sharp standard tuning, and I will put the tuning in the description. Also, I will say check out the live version, because you can hear the guitars really clearly in the live version, and I'll put a link in the description to that. So, I'm going to start off with a power chord on fret 1, on the bottom string to open. <laughs> Let me play that. The first one's held a little bit longer. Then we're going to play open bottom string to seventh fret power chord on the A. Okay, you can, I think you can play a minor chord. Then we're going to play five seven on the A to five of the D. Then seven to nine of the A to seven of the D. So, then open bottom string, five of the A, open bottom string, seven of the A. Then we're going to play octaves, so five of the A, seven of the G, we're going to slide up to the seven, uh, bottom string, muted, then seven on the A, nine of the G, up to nine and eleven. And then open bottom string muted and play the 10th fret of the A. So let's do this whole bit from here. Then we're going to play this 7th fret power chord again. Then we got that little bit again. So 5, 7 of the A to 5 of the D, then 7, 9 of the A to 7 of the D, then we're going to play power chord on the 3rd fret of the bottom string, and then 2nd fret of the bottom string, 5th of the A, 4th of the D. So let's play that whole little section there. The other guitar is playing this. So, open bottom string to 7th fret power chord on the A string. Then, 2nd fret on the A string. 3, 2. So, open bottom string, 5, 7 on the A. Then, 3rd fret power chord on the bottom string to 5th on the A. Again, which is the same as we did a minute ago, and then, and then this chord that we played a minute ago on the first guitar. So let's do that riff again slowly. Then we have this riff. So, open bottom string power chord up to 7 of the A. Then 3 of the A to 5 of the D back to 3 of the A and 4 of the D. So, open bottom string again, 
and then five to seven of the bottom string. Open bottom to seven of the A. Three of the A. Five of the D, three of the A, five of the G. And then back to the open bottom string again. And then five, seven. Open bottom string to seven of the A. Which is the same as you did a minute ago, which is three of the A, five, three, four of the D. Open A, power chord. Then we're gonna play this, which is three of the A and two of the D. And then two, four, two on the D. Open bottom string. Three of the A. Five of the G, three of the A, four of the G. And then back into this opening chord. So let's do that whole thing slowly. Over the top of that we have <coughs> So seven of the <coughs> seven of the A ten seven ten on the A sorry, no that's wrong. Seven of the A 10, 7 on the A, and then 9 of the D, 10, 7, 10, 7 on the A. So. Then, 7, 10, 7, 10 of the D, then 7, 10, 7 on the A again. 7 of the A, 9 to 7 of the D, 9, 10, 9, 7 on the A, 7 of the A again, then there's a little trill on 9 and 10 on the A, down to 7, and then 10 of the bottom string, and then back into so then we have this riff So, open bottom string muted. So we're going to play them seven of the A on the bottom of the string again, then five seven of the A. So that whole little phrase. Then same timing, but this time we're going to play three of the A. 5 of the D, 4, 5 on the D, so, and then we're going to finish that little bit there with 3 of the A, 5 of the D, slide up to, 7 of the D, now here you can play the fifth of the bottom string or the open 
I prefer to play the fifth of the bottom string because then when you slide up for the next part of the riff, you can stay on that string. So from that beginning of that riff. <laughs> Open to third, sorry, open bottom string to third fret of the A. Open bottom string, five of the A. So. Then repeat the first part of that riff. This is where it changes. So A here to A here, then up to nine, and then 10 on the D string. So then open bottom string to third fret of the A. Open bottom string, three of the bottom string to five of the A. Then repeat the first half of the riff. Then. So open bottom string to third fret of the A. Fifth of the A three of the bottom string. So let's do the whole riff slowly. Let me have this riff. So, open bottom string to 10 of the A. Open bottom string to 9 of the A. Open bottom string, 7, 10, 7 on the A. So that's then onto the bottom string eight eight again seven of the A eight of the bottom string seven of the bottom string so those together then open bottom string to nine of the D and then seven of the D Nine of the A, ten, nine. Then open bottom string to seven of the A, nine, ten. Then nine, ten, nine, seven. Open bottom string, and then fourteen, twelve, fourteen on the A. Then 12, 10, 12. And then 7 on the A. 7 on the low, low string. So let's do that whole riff slowly. The other guitar plays this. So, 
open bottom string to 10 of the A and then open bottom string up to 12 of the A. Open bottom string 7, 10, 7 on the A. Same as the first guitar. Then 8 on the bottom string. Repeat that. 7 of the A. 8 to 7 of the bottom string. So that whole bit. Then back to open to 10 on the A and open bottom string to 9. 5 of the A. Slide up to 10, 9. Open bottom string to 7 of the A. Open to 7 on the D. Open to 7. Then we're going to play 7, 9, 10 on the A down to five of the bottom string. Then open bottom string, and we're gonna play 10, 9, 10 on the A, 9, 7, 9 of the A. Then seven of the A, open bottom string, and then seven of the E, high E, eight of the B, nine of the G. So again, let's do that whole riff slowly. Or, should I say... Then we're back into a riff that we played a minute ago. Then we're back into another riff we've just done. Then we have. So all power chords, five of the A, down to three, one, to the open, three of the bottom string, up to five, then five to six, six to eight. So. The other guitar is going to go up the neck instead of down the neck. So we're going to start with D, up to, sorry, 5 of the A, up to 7. Then we're going to change it into an octave instead of a power chord. Up to 10, up to 12. 13, 15. Then we've got one of the first riffs that we played, but we're playing it a tone down, so. Okay, so open bottom string to five on the A, three, five on the A to three of the D, five to seven on the A to five of the D, open bottom string three to five on the A, then octaves three to five, five to seven. Eight of the A, then fifth fret power chord, then three five on the A to three of the D, three 
three, uh, sorry, five to seven on the A to five of the D. Open bottom string, three, five on the A. Uh, first fret power chord. Leave your third finger on that third fret and then play the open bottom string. So slowly. And the other guitar is playing the same thing as we did earlier, it's just down a tone. So open bottom string to five of the A. Five of the bottom string, six, five. Open bottom string, three, five on the A. First fret of the bottom string to third of the A. Open bottom string to five of the A. On the bottom string, five, six, five. Open bottom string, three, five on the A. And then power chord on the first fret. Take your first finger off and play the bottom two again. So slowly. Then we've got another two riffs that we've already played. That one, and then in two. And then into that one. Then we've got a bit of a cleaner tone, and we're playing this. So we're playing a D minor chord, we're starting on that A string, and then this time we're going to play a little hammer and pull off. Then we're going to take our middle finger off, and then we're going to play a B flat chord. So that whole little bit. Repeat the first two chords. Then we're going to play a C major. Repeat the first two. Then play that D minor again, but without the middle finger down. And then we're going to play a G minor. Then we're going to play a B flat major down to an A major. Then back to a D minor. And we're going to finish with the E, B, G string. So let's do that whole section together. Underneath the solo, we have. So open bottom string to seventh fret power chord on the A. On the A string, two, three, two. Open bottom string to seventh, uh, to five, and then to seven on the A. Three on the bottom string to five on the A. Open bottom string to seven on the A. 
two, three, two on the A. Open bottom string, five, seven on the A. And then this power chord on the third fret. And then second fret of the bottom and five of the A. So slowly. I'm not going to go through the solo. There is already a lesson for the solo online. I think it's a guy called Chris Zuper, so check it out. Then the song finishes on this riff. However, we have some harmonies over the top. I think I figured one of them out. So it's going to go like this. So on the A string, ten, nine, seven. Eight of the bottom string onto the D nine seven nine of the A then we're gonna play ten nine five of the D seven of the D open bottom string to nine of the D and then open bottom string again then on the A string, 9, 10, 9, 7. Open bottom string, 10, 9, 10 on the A. Open bottom string, 9, 7, 9 on the A. And then 7 of the A, 7 of the E, open E. So slowly. And then it goes into the riff as normal. And the song just ends on that open bottom string power chord. To record this video, I used this guitar, which is a Yamaha Pacifica PAC611 HFM and a Victory Kraken amp. The settings are on gain two at one o'clock on bass at about one o'clock, mids are about 10 o'clock and treble is at about half past one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.